Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K22 video. As moments ago, WWE and 2K unveiled a brand new trailer with a focus this time being on the highly anticipated My GM mode. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and more. Before we dive in, let's take a look at the MyGM trailer. Now you can become a WWE General Manager and compete against rival GMs to build the biggest brand in WWE. Choose wisely between Adam Pearce, Sonya Deville, and more. Or even create your own custom GM. But if you want to go down in the WWE history books, choose me. Then make your selections. Keep track of your budget through the multiple draft rounds, add free agents to your roster, and create your mix of good guys or bad for more ways to boost your ratings. Become the top-rated show by setting up intense rivalries. Interfere in a match. Schedule championship matchups and set up premium live events. Now let's see if you've got what it takes. As a huge Stephanie McMahon fan, I absolutely love this trailer. For those of you who don't know, Stephanie McMahon was the very first superstar I ever saw on WWE TV and I was hooked instantly. So to see her having some fun as part of the WWE 2K22 trailer is freaking awesome. In usual fashion, Rey Mysterio opens the trailer before we get our very first look at some of the available general managers as part of my gem, which include Adam Pearce, Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, Sonya Deville, and your very own custom general manager. Up first, we have a look at Adam Pearce as he makes his official 2K debut as part of 2K22. Adam, just like his TV counterpart, looks pretty dapper here as he spots a grey variation of one of the many suits he can be seen wearing on TV. We then get a look at the daddy Sonya Deville in this year's game in what looks to be an entrance animation for the WWE official. Judging by the footage here, it looks as though Sonya is sporting her SmackDown 2020 attire from the portrayal of her former BFF Mandy Rose and what looks to be a brand new entrance animation. I have to say, Sonya looks absolutely stunning here and quite honestly, definitely comes in the top 5, if not the top 3 best looking females of 2K22. Sonya has definitely received a huge update when you compare her to her 2K20 counterpart and I can't wait to see how the rest of her attire and her entrance look. I'm also hoping we can either have an in-ring version of Sonya with her hair up or an official attire because remember, when the jacket's on, Sonya only deals in business. When the jacket comes off, that's when the ass whooping begins. We then get a look at Stephanie McMahon in this year's game with Stephanie spotting her WrestleMania 30 attire as seen in previous games. Judging by the footage, while Stephanie does seem tweaked from her appearance in 20, it looks as though she may have the same entrance animation this time around. Whilst players may get the chance to call the shots in MyGM, Stephanie takes over the MyGM trailer as the official host and she begins to run down just some of the features. As part of the sequence, we see Drew and Cesaro facing off on SmackDown as Drew hits a belly-to-belly -belly suplex on the Swiss superstar. We then get some more entrance action with a look at Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins making their way to the ring before Roman performs a backbreaker to Drew McIntyre. Stephanie then dives into the available general managers here at play with a look at the character customization for creating your very own custom general manager. It's hard to take too much away from the creation suite, but the skin texture alone looks far superior on the custom superstars this time around with far more detail on the custom superstars sweat. Just like Stephanie says though, if you want to go down in the WWE history books, why would you choose anybody else but her? We then see the billion dollar princess taunting ringside, doing what she does best, riling up the crowd in the best way she knows how. 
We then get a look at some of the menus in my gym where you can see Becky Lynch acting as a babyface over on SmackDown with the recommendation of picking up Charlotte Flair as a free agent in the bottom left hand corner. Speaking of free agents, we can see a whole host of male and female superstars on the free agents roster including Alexa Bliss and Carmella and some custom WWE superstars. Amongst the available custom superstars are enhancement talent rather at Mai T. Kirk and Nova Nova Light, who come substantially cheaper compared to WWE talent. The custom superstar renders give me such high hopes when it comes to custom superstars and the renders are used to such perfection here so I can't wait to see what the rest of the community create in the coming weeks and months. From the shots, we can see that Charlotte costs a whopping $240,500 as a heel specialist with 63 stamina and 60 popularity. Alexa, on the other hand, acts as a babyface cruiser with 60 stamina and 59 popularity and comes at the price of $81,000. Carmella, like Charlotte, is also a heel at the price of $72,000 with 53 stamina and 57 popularity and acts as a fighter. Speaking of Carmella, we get a better look at the Staten Island Princess's stats with Carmella having a star power set at 3, morale of 45, 4 out of 5 for promo skills and no current rivalries. We then get another look at Stephanie's model which seemingly has a different hairstyle this time around but the exact same attire. I'm not 100% sure what exactly this might mean. It could mean that Stephanie has multiple models with the option to customise your general manager's outfit or it could mean that Stephanie has two different models which both have the same attire which quite frankly wouldn't make much sense. There's also one slight possibility but in all honesty I can't see it happening. It could be that you can switch between hairstyles for certain superstars with multiple hairstyles available for each superstar. As I say, I can't quite see that being the case, but I would absolutely love it if it was. Let me know what you think in the comments down below because I can't quite figure out why her hair looks so different here. We then see Edge and Seth Rollins duking out in the ring with Edge performing an education on Seth as Adam Pearce looks on at ringside. With another look at my GM menus, we can see Rhea Ripley coming out on top in a feud over Sasha Banks at WrestleMania with Bianca Belair and Asuka squaring out for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We see SmackDown coming first in the MyGem rankings with a huge boost to their total fans and ad revenue. In a look at one of my possible favourite features, we see the general managers getting their hands dirty as part of the general manager interference option. Pierce is first to abuse his power on Monday Night Raw as he sends Nakamura to the outside over the rope before Stephanie blindsides Dolph Ziggler by throwing him to the barricade. When you aren't abusing your power as general manager, you can book premium live events and schedule championship matches between superstars as seen in the menu with a quick look at Naomi's updated render alongside Dana Brooke and rivals. Sasha Banks and Rhea Ripley. As the trailer begins to heat up, we see Stephanie once again taunting the crowd with Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair fighting out in the ring as the camera pans out to show just how frustrated the fans are at Stephanie. We then see Rey Mysterio and Montez Ford taking to the skies as they hit some of their signature moves before John Cena hits a signature move of his very own on this year's poor unfortunate Miz. Meanwhile on SmackDown, Seth Rollins sets up Edge for the pedigree whilst Drew hits an air edge crash on Big E. As the trailer comes to a close, we see Rey hitting a 619 on Edge as Stephanie McMahon cheese on Seth Rollins who hits Dolph Ziggler with a ripcord knee. The closing shot showcases Stephanie looking like the baddest bitch in all of WWE and I can't wait to recreate all of this carnage as Stephanie in my GM. It may not divulge the most detailed information but as I say I am a huge Stephanie McMahon fan so I just can't get enough of everything McMahon here on display. Stephanie is at her very best when she's playing the villain but it's also pretty sweet to see her have some fun especially in trailer spots like this which came as a big surprise when the trailer started out. I'm intrigued to see what the situation is regarding Stephanie's model because I can't for the life of me figure out why she would have two different hairstyles with the same attire unless the trailer showcases different models at different stages of development. Whatever the case, I can't wait to manage and kick ass as Stephanie in WWE 2K22. Not to mention, we got a great look at Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville's models for this year's game with Sonya especially looking amazing. Unlike most, I'm quite a rookie when it comes to general manager modes in the WWE series but I love that in my GM I have the option to cause complete carnage and chaos and mould the show into my very own image and if I want to, I can do that as myself or one of the other general managers here on display. 
Well, that's enough of what I think and what carnage I want to create in my GM. I want to know what you at home make of today's trailer and who you'll be picking as your very first general manager in my GM. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I'm off to plot my ultimate general manager experience.